Hi, I'm James, and this is just going to be a really, really, really quick tutorial on IKEA handles because it's quite a good tool for animating. So, to start off with, I've just got a simple character here. So, as you can see, this is a little watch goblin thing set. No, it's frozen. But we've already divided the skin to this little skeleton we've made. So, to make it more efficient on animation, instead of just rotating the joints and setting keys for each joint, what we can do is create an IK handle between these joints. And what that'll do is it'll just give you a really quick way of animating several joints. So for the IK handle it's this little icon here. Or you can go into your animated menu and get it from the shelf at the top. And what you do first is you click your first joint, which would be this one here. Then you click another joint further down the hierarchy. And as you can see, once you've clicked that straight away, it's put a little rotation kind of thing and a link between these. And this is like the IK handle between that joint and that joint. So if I go to the move tool, what's going to happen now is as I move this, it's going to keep the distance of the joints constant. So it's not going to stretch your joints. As you can see, like as I move it, if I move it right up here, it's not going to stretch the joints. It's just going to move the joints in a way it can accommodate where you're moving this IK handle. So if I move it up, it will only go as far as the joints will allow it, so it's not going to stretch it. So it's a really useful tool for animating. And if you set a key to this IK handle, like if we set a key here, then we go 200 frames or something. Set a key, we'll just move it. As you can see, it's just really quick. You know, it's animated these three joints to how we want them. So we didn't have to go and rotate these joints. You had multiple joints in an arm. Or you had like a snake or something like that. You can put an IKEA handle between loads and loads and loads of joints and it'll just work the same way. So it doesn't just have to be the hands either. You can just come here and set an IKEA handle for that. As you can see, it's just a really good way of quickly getting a character set up and ready for animating.